LeBron James is currently playing in his 20th season in the NBA and showing no signs of slowing down. He's been consistently dominant for the last 20 years, averaging 27.2 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 7.5 assists per game throughout his career. LeBron is a four-time NBA champion, four-time MVP, and an 18-time All-Star, and he's already considered one of the greatest players of all time, and he's not done yet. At 38 years old, he's still dominating the game with an average of 29.2 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 6.9 assists per game. And he's proving that age is just a number and his talents knows no bounds. As of now, he is on track to break one of the NBA's most prestigious records. LeBron is closing in on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time points record of 38,387 points. Kareem has held the top spot on the career points list since April 5, 1984, eight months before James was even born, when he surpassed Wilt Chamberlain's previous record. At the time of this recording, LeBron is just 364 points away from breaking this record, and with the current numbers he is putting up, he will break this record sooner than expected. LeBron's Future as you all know, LeBron is 38 years old, and his new two-year $97.1 million contract extension with the Lakers is set to expire in the summer of 2024. Now, despite his incredible level of play, there's no guarantee that he'll see this Lakers team as the perfect fit for his career during his twilight years. It is always usually hard to predict what a player will do, especially one as accomplished as LeBron. LeBron has recently come out and made it clear that he doesn't want to play meaningless basketball anymore. He wants to win now while he still can. Last month, James said, I'm a winner and I want to win and give myself a chance to win and still compete for championships. That has always been my passion. That has always been my goal since I entered the league as an 18-year-old kid out of Akron, Ohio. And I know it takes steps to get there, but once you get there and know how to get there, Playing basketball at this level just to be playing basketball is not in my DNA. It's not in my DNA anymore. There's no doubt that James wants to win to close out his career. He wants the Lakers organization to do everything possible to compete. But there are a few problems with that. The Lakers made a big move offseason, acquiring Russell Westbrook in a trade. But as James' insistence on that trade removed most of the remaining flexibility, what assets do they have left? Nothing. All that's left now in terms of interesting assets are the 2027 and 2029 first round picks, but these picks won't be fulfilled until likely after James has left and they could end up being extremely valuable. The Post-LeBron Principle During LeBron's first stint with the Cleveland Cavaliers, the team had an incredible run. They made the playoffs five consecutive seasons, including an unsuccessful finals appearance in 2007, but after he left, Cleveland went 97 and 215. This is what is known as the post LeBron principle, where teams sacrifice their youth, assets, draft picks, and even culture in pursuit of short term success. The same pattern followed in Miami, four years of greatness, back to back to back to back NBA Finals appearances, and two rings were the fee for a post LeBron future. That included a come down for an organization that had only suffered one losing season in more than a decade under Pat Riley. And when LeBron returned to Cleveland, they went 37 and 45 that season without him, and the Cavs had ups and downs before finding their footing several years later. Same for Cleveland finals appearances, a long coveted championship, and then three seasons of awful basketball before general manager Kobe Altman began drafting properly and turning things around. That has always been the deal. Having King James always comes with a price to pay, but it's a brand new territory that the price is being paid while he's still around with the Lakers. When LeBron James makes a move, it also often sets the stage for others to follow. In Cleveland, his departure meant the end of the road for head coach Mike Brown and general manager Danny Ferry. And in Miami, his exit meant Dwayne Wade also said goodbye to the Heat, the team that he had played for his entire career. And when LeBron left Cleveland for the second time, the pattern repeated itself. Head coach Ty Lue and general manager David Griffin also moved on. For the Lakers, we don't know, but someone will leave. The pattern keeps repeating itself. Get LeBron, win and win and win, watch him leave, lose, recalibrate, and rebuild. That's been the pattern up until now. What's next for the LA Lakers after LeBron? 
The Lakers won the NBA Finals in 2020, and LeBron was a key contributor to that win. But from a Lakers perspective, the success also officially resets the team's focus to someone else. LeBron James is currently the best player and leader of the Lakers, but as he gets older, it's important to consider his role on the team. LeBron may have to adjust his role on the team in order to continue to be successful, as the Lakers may look to rebuild around younger players in the future. And this will be a tough decision for LeBron, who wants to win and compete. Bronny and LeBron LeBron's on-court dominance and off-court influence have cemented him as one of the greatest players of all time. This fame and notoriety has spilled over into the life of his children, and his eldest son, Bronny, is already enjoying some of the perks that comes with it. As a player, Bronny is good enough to make the NBA on his own merits, but one has to wonder if his connection to LeBron has overhyped the kid's potential. Bronny is now the 34th overall player in the class of 2023, which makes him the top-rated uncommitted prospect in the country. As his son considers his future in the sport, LeBron told The Athletic in February that he doesn't plan to retire until he can play in the league with Bronny. He said, My last year will be played with my son. Wherever Bronny is at, that's where I'll be. I would do whatever it takes to play with my son for one year. It's not about the money at that point. Bronny is a 6'3", 190-pound senior combo guard at Sierra Canyon High School, and he is already drawing interest from prestigious college programs. He has yet to make a decision on his basketball future, and while his father was the presumptive number one pick from the time he was a junior entering the NBA straight out of high school, Bronny will choose between various NCAA scholarship offers or perhaps the G League for his next step. The Sierra Canyon native has already received official offers from Memphis, Ohio State, USC, Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, Michigan, North Carolina, and Oregon. The earliest he can enter the NBA draft is 2024, and it'll be interesting to see whether teams rate him more favorably under the assumption taking him would mean at least a few years of LeBron too. Of course, if he develops into a top five prospect based on his own development, it's another point. LeBron recently reinstated his desire to play with his son Bronny when he said, I need to be on the floor with my boy. I gotta be on the floor with Bronny. I would love to do the whole Ken Griffey Sr. Jr. thing. That would be ideal for sure. Being with him, spending a full year with him in the same uniform, that would be the icing on the cake. As I stated, LeBron is already under contract with the Lakers with a player option for 2024-25. The thought would be that any team who could land Bronny in the 2024 NBA draft could count on LeBron opting out with the Lakers and signing for one or more seasons in a new place. Getting to play a few seasons together to pass the torch, similar to what MLB's Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. did with the Seattle Mariners in the early 1990s, would be a perfect send-off for King James. Final Thoughts LeBron has shown that he can still play at an elite level and has a passion for the game that will likely keep him on the court for a few more years to come. Whether he continues to win championships, becomes a mentor for the young players, or takes a different path, we can be sure that LeBron will remain a significant figure in the basketball world. Would the 18-time All-Star really demand to be shipped out of town once it becomes trade eligible during the 2023 offseason? And would he be able to achieve his desire of playing with his son, Bronny? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in for more updates on the NBA and LeBron's future.